to my channel, Coin Lady, and thank you for returning. Now, let's get into XRP. Many people mistake XRP with Ripple, so I'll start with that. Ripple stands for XRP. You can't compare the two. You have seen Ripple, a digital firm that offers the best options for transmitting money over the world. The XRP Ledger is the foundational open-source blockchain technology for XRP, a decentralized digital asset. What is the relationship between them? While Ripple's XRapid makes use of XRP and the XRP Ledger, the software company has no direct ownership over the underlying technology or digital asset. There are 60 billion XRP owned by Ripple. Around 55 billion is currently held in escrow. Today, the figure is lower. There can be no single owner of the XRP ledger. It doesn't depend on Ripple or any other company for its success or failure, it exists apart from them. Contributors to XRP or the XRP ledger often include Ripple's board members, workers, and members of the Ripple community who deal in XRP and use the technology. Ripple's goods are utilized by financial institutions. Concerning XRP Regardless of ownership, anyone can utilize XRP built on the XRP ledger or list XRP on their exchange. Who owns XRP? The founders, investors, and workers who have Ripple stock. Ownership of XRP is open to everyone. I feel compelled to mention this because it has been said that BRICS will never adopt the XRP ledger or XRP itself, just because Ripple is a US-based corporation. The first thing to know is that Ripple is now comparable to a multinational corporation. That being said, the XRP ledger and XRP itself are accessible to everybody. And penalties are meaningless. I wanted to make that point quickly. Saying you were a former deputy counsel at Ripple and now work as an IMF lawyer is intriguing. Joining the IMF counsel, Jesse Chong has experience as a former deputy counsel at Ripple and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. In her role there, she assists member nations with technical matters and focuses on policy, regulation, and legal matters pertaining to financial technology, cryptocurrency, and central banking. Again, Ripple and XRP are beloved by the IMF. Ripple, which they also favor, is about to repurchase $1.4 billion worth of stock in anticipation of its upcoming initial public offering, IPO. This has many folks perplexed. There are reports that Ripple is repurchasing XRP for $1.4 billion, and I keep seeing that. I don't think so. Rilla stock is this. In fact, I believe that the upcoming Ripple IPO is a good idea. Even while it would be great for XRP, they aren't repurchasing it. Tokenization is the next shift for financial services, says Vlad104, CEO of Robinhood. I wish to emphasize this point. Since tokenization is at the heart of Robinhood, it's difficult to fathom a future where equities are stored on blockchains. When assets like dollars and stocks are created on blockchains, Numerous well-known financial firms are already investigating tokenization, according to Fortune. These firms include BlackRock and Goldman Sachs. Kevin, according to The Tenant, may potentially eliminate expensive middlemen for financial transactions, like trade settlement, via tokenization. You can see how large this is even when Robinhood gets involved with tokenization. Who is Ripple? Buying XRP before $1? What is the price prediction for XRP from 2024 to 2025? Would you recommend it? Yes. Their price estimates are consistently cautious since they either don't want to risk losing investors or don't see the forest for the trees. They have no idea what XRP is designed to do. For the simple reason that I anticipate XRP to fetch substantially more than $16.24 by the year 2030. I still predict that XRP will be worth more than $5.47 in 2026. Some of the folks who write these pieces also seem to be trying to scare people away. Simply said, I foresee XRP's future value skyrocketing above that in the near future. Due regard. The conviction is held by a small minority. I have information regarding XRP. I have been increasing to my XRP holdings consistently over the past three years after. 
investing my life savings in the cryptocurrency a little over three years ago. What is coming is something I truly believe in. You have no idea how many people I've seen claim that a lot of people have staked all their wealth on this cryptocurrency. Why do you ask? Since there are individuals that recognize just how massive this is. Some individuals just sit around and gripe about how much XRP is worth. Nobody can convince these users of XRP's future direction, so they keep stacking coins despite the fear, uncertainty, and doubt FUD, surrounding the cryptocurrency. What is coming is something they know for sure. Not long ago did I notice that. The rise of Ripple and XRP is something I show you in every video I do. And I must say, I am quite relieved that I purchased the depths. You know, back then it took vision, but I'm glad I did it because I bought at multiple depths along the way for over 6 years, purchasing drop after dip. Plus, you needed really good eyesight to predict the ending. It will be 2022 by then. The outcome was obvious to me. I predicted XRP's meteoric rise to prominence. And I'll share something with you. So far, we haven't seen anything. The total cash on hand by US firms is $4.11 trillion, an all-time high. Just picture all these companies with this much cash on hand. Do you have any idea where all that cash is going to be kept in the years to come? These same US firms are planning to get into the blockchain stuff. With all that cash in hand, they're about to step foot in this area. By the end of the year, according to Brad, the total market cap of cryptocurrencies will be approximately $5 trillion. Additionally, he claimed to be exercising restraint. I believe things will quickly improve, and we will likely see $10 trillion or more. Whenever it occurs. According to the Bollinger Bands, Bitcoin can experience a twofold spike in the market. What we're seeing for XRP with Bitcoin is exactly what they're experiencing. Like you, I said it. In my opinion, Bitcoin is going to have a phenomenal surge when it arrives. In my opinion, these price points are still too high. But I predict a meteoric rise, with prices hitting $120,000 per Bitcoin. Money worth millions of dollars was flown to Zimbabwe in the form of bricks. So, while BRICS is elaborating on the benefits of dollarization in other nations, Zimbabwe's failing economy is in severe need of US dollars. The hyperinflation that gripped the nation for more than 10 years has caused its citizens to shun their local currency. To protect themselves against inflation and ensure their financial survival, Zimbabweans have resorted to hoarding US dollars. Their service is being provided by US-based fintech companies in the form of private jets landing in horrors guarded portion of Robert International Airport at least twice a week, each carrying millions of dollars in various bundles. As a result, Zimbabwe is one of the countries that has begun to devalue the US currency. Also simultaneously. Nonetheless, until the economy recovers, I believe the US dollar will keep losing value. Plus, for XRP, they could easily fix the current economy. Moreover, home defaults have increased dramatically due to demand liquidity. This kind of surge wasn't witnessed since the financial crisis. A number of people are falling behind on their mortgage payments. People are still trying to buy houses, you know. Why? Homeownership is dwindling as investors like BlackRock snap up these properties at exorbitant prices. You will be satisfied owning nothing, since private equity firms now own hundreds of thousands of single-family homes. This is the Great Reset in action. Well, it seems like they're really stocking up on houses, with some of them being put up for rent. However, the housing market will eventually collapse. I also predict that a huge surge in cryptocurrency prices will occur simultaneously when this bubble bursts. And that's why I constantly stress the importance of holding off on real estate investments until the housing market bottoms out, or until the bubble collapses. Yours is one of 30 branches that the bank shuttered in the span of a week. All these branches are being closed by the banks, you know. There will be several bank failures in the next months due to the bank's rush towards digital. The consolidation of the banks necessitates that this occur on purpose. For the same reason that I always stress, banks are not a good location to hold your money, Instead, you should consider investing in cryptocurrency, 
where you can earn a substantial return. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.